Hey friends, welcome back to Ashley's Affluence. I'm Ashley, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you grocery shopping with me and exactly how I grocery shop. So this week will be rather different than normal weeks because I'm grocery shopping midweek and I need to get groceries for the rest of this week as well as next week while maintaining a budget for next week and half of this week. So I am gonna uh, limit myself to $50. $50 is going to be my budget. So we'll see based on what my inventory is. And what I mean by inventory is I'm going to go in my kitchen and see exactly what I have and what I need to restock on. And then some wants if I want anything. And I'll, I'll take you along for that. So let's go ahead and go into the kitchen. I'm gonna start out with the refrigerator and see what I have. <sighs> Here's my refrigerator. It is pretty empty. Pretty empty. <laughs> That freezer is pretty much empty. So in my freezer, I have two chicken breasts and then one beef. Oh. So I do have bread. So here I have three skinny pops, um, some oatmeal, which will probably last me for the rest of this week. Then I have some croutons for a salad. I have three Velveeta cookies and then I have some kind bars. Up here I have mac and cheese, uh, rice, um, pancake mix, <laughs> some ramen noodles yellow rice, some pasta sides, more kind bars, and crackers. And then it's pretty thin up there. All right, so that's pretty much that. So I don't have much fruit. I only have a banana and three oranges. And then up here is my overstock pile. which is ridiculous, I know. I hardly ever go over here, but I need to start looking. So I do have some chili I can make this week. I have some dirty rice, red beans and rice, Ugh. chicken noodle soup, and tea, which I'm almost out of. Actually what I'm drinking now, gotta have my tea, honey especially in the morning. Woo. The reason why this one is different than normal is because typically I have way more in my refrigerator as well as in my uh, pantry. But because I've been so cheap lately, I haven't been like really restocking. I just grab small items, so. All right, so now that I sat down, I created a list. So I have my inventory on the left thing that you saw me go through and then over here is my grocery list and then down here is just a quick meal plan for the week so based on what i have i'm going to have oatmeal and eggs for the rest of the week today's wednesday so the oatmeal and eggs should last me up until friday and then i will just need more eggs to carry me through the weekend as well as next week so i did go ahead and put eggs on my grocery list and then for my snack for the week, I'm gonna have the Belveda cookies. Um, and that'll be my snack for the rest of the week because I have three of those. And so I'll just need to buy some more to carry me for next week. And then I have some chicken breast that I just thawed out. And I also have some Alfredo sauce as well as some pasta. So I am going to make Cajun chicken pasta because I have some bell peppers. So I'm just gonna spice it up, spice the kids spice the chicken up and make it black and chicken breast. And then I have goldfish and skinny pop. So that can be my snack for the rest of the week as well because I have three more skinny pop 
bags. And then I have that salad, which typically I can make, it lasts for two days. And so I plan to keep my uh, dinner rather on the light side. <laughs> and I have those croutons. So on the weekend, because I have the that bread, I'm going to make French toast and eggs during the weekend. So for next week, because I have ground beef and I have chili, I'm going to make chili. And then I'm going to make chicken because I have some chicken breasts in the freezer. And I'm gonna make yellow rice for my side and then make broccoli. Um, so I'm gonna get broccoli uh, when I go to the grocery store. And then I have some soup, so I'm just gonna incorporate some soup. And then I have a lot of, um, aside I think that's how you pronounce it in my freezer and so I love making smoothies so that will be incorporated next week so when I go to the grocery store I'm gonna go to Aldi their produce is typically cheaper so I'm going to get bananas blueberries strawberries and grapes um, and then for my veggies I'm gonna get broccoli a salad see if they have bacon bits and then water and then I'm gonna buy some almond milk because I need that to make my French toast, butter, and eggs. And so then I also go to Harris Teeter because they have certain things that uh, Aldi doesn't have, such as Skinny Pop. So I'm gonna get Skinny Pop, some more oatmeal. I, need I also love fruit snacks. It's kind of like my candy that I don't treat myself to. And I also eat Eggos, so I might give me some Eggos. That is the grocery list. So inventory, a little bit of my meal planning down here, and then the grocery list. Simple and kind of easy. Again, I use what I have, and but because I ain't got that much, and I'm also on a tight budget. So yeah, let's go to the grocery store. Aldi's. These look good. So the cost is one forty nine. Grab some gray. got the grapes now I need the strawberries So that wasn't bad. It was $23.99 and that's all I got. But I didn't get a salad, bacon bits, or water. So I'm gonna get that at Harris Teeter and that's where I'm gonna break the bank in. So I need salad, bacon bits, and water. And then oatmeal, skinny pop, and Velveeta. Fruit snacks, Eggos. So the hand soap and bar soap, I'm not gonna include as groceries, as well as the hand towels. So 
the old bacon bits. I normally get these, but it's $2.99, so I'm gonna get these. Just $2.19. Wait, this is a sale. Not a good enough sale. We'll get these. So I need water and then oatmeal. I normally get Quakers, right? And they're having a sale for two for five. But I just switched over to the store brand and they're $1.59. And y'all, they're way better than the actual Quakers. No shade to make uh, Quakers, but that's where it's at. So I'm getting the fruit snacks value pack. Get skinny pop white cheddar. They're having a sale for $5.39, which is pretty good. So I get these, and they're on sale for $4.99. These. Which is two for six. And I think five come in a pack versus the eight pack, which you get three more. So I'm actually saving money getting the bigger one. The sale's going on. Oh, so it's going on till April. So I'm gonna just grab one for now. So I'm making chili and I forgot to put Fritos if I make Frito pies, so I need to get some Fritos. Which they're having a sale on Fritos, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab two. Water at Aldi. I'm gonna see what is the cheapest water to get. And right now, it's looking like this one, which is $2.99. This is $2.69. I wonder what's the difference. I should have got water at Aldi. This is a 24 pack and that's a 35 pack. This is a better deal. Yeah, this is a way better deal. $6.99. Hey y'all, so it's pretty much nighttime. Um, I didn't get to document me getting home and putting everything away because I had work to do. I have work to do. If you know, if you know that song, sing along. <laughs> but no, um, I did go over budget, which I knew I was because that's just how it is when I go to Harris Teeter. But and also I was kind of trying to buy stuff for this week too. So, so I end up spending a total after taxes, like $44 at Harris Teeter and $23 at Aldi or do y'all call it Aldi? Whatever. So I went over about $15 of my $50 budget. No, $18, about $18, 15 to $18. We just gonna round it up to $20. So I went over about $20. It was expected cause I was on a low on stock over here. So it is what it is, but I should at least be good for a week and a half. Um, so yeah, that is the grocery haul. Um, be better than me and um, don't go over budget. <laughs> I probably could have, I probably could have, you know what, you know where my mistake was? My mistake was the $5 and that water. Oh, you know what? And, and the Eggos. I don't know why I bought the big old Eggo, that big old box of Eggos, but I'm obviously really sleepy. So that's the end of this, uh, <laughs> haul. Um, until the next time I go grocery shopping. Peace.